Good morning, it's Barbara. I'm starting this right now. Hap uh, good morning. I, I did say morning because I want to show them my culinary amazingness. Yeah. Here we are. We're eating at our table. Look at this. What's for breakfast? Right, Samantha? Yeah. It's French toast sticks with melted peanut butter. Yeah. Turned out pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. Not our idea. JD, Aunt Diana's fiance, he's going to be Uncle JD soon. It was his idea to do the peanut butter. He puts peanut butter on everything. Really? Maybe he's related to you. Soon, right? <laughs> All right. Going outside. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. I'm, oh, I'm going to talk about our horseback riding yesterday. What did you think? Yeah? Oh, yeah, you got it. It was good. It was good. Who was your horse, Samantha? Autumn. Autumn. She was a white horse with brown spots. Speckles. Spots. They were so tiny. They were like speckles. They were spots. Okay, spots. <laughs> she was a very nice one. How old was she? Do you remember? I think she was 23. 23. Yeah. And she was the aunt of two other horses. Oh, that's right. And you were riding Minnie. Minnie. Her whole name is Minnie Monkey. Minnie Monkey. She was a beautiful mauve color. Very interesting. And we had a good time. I was never told how old she was. Yeah, I don't know how old Journey was either. Journey was my horse. But who has a sore butt today? You. I'm the only one, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, good. All right, I'm going out. Thing. Oh, that's right. Isabel finished her pot holder. It turned out so cute. Samantha, we have to finish ours today. I know. Okay. Because they really add, they're the perfect size for a mug rug, which is good because um, they're the wrong material to actually use with hot pans so that works all right finish your breakfast i'm going out well, no, okay. I mean, I this. no it's because it'll melt it can't it can't be on the heat that's the problem but it put put your cup on it put your glass on it that's what on it that's what a mug rug is and that will work great perfect all right, now I'm going out. Oops. Goodbye. All right, goodbye. Good little. Ooh, it's beautiful out here. Good morning. <laughs> it's Barbara. Oh, thank you for joining me for coffee. We had such a good time yesterday. I had a good time and I was shocked. I was ready to be done. I won't try to kid you. But I wasn't dying and wishing it were over for 15 minutes like I was the last time I did this so I was really happy my horse was not nearly as wide the last time I did a trail ride was when Isabel was like six and my horse was so wide I was so uncomfortable the whole time this horse was not so wide his name was Journey and I enjoyed the trail ride and the girls had a wonderful time and Kim came with us and she had a good time too so So there you go. Oh, and breakfast was a big success today. I was trying to figure out, you know, because they had bacon for breakfast, only bacon for breakfast for the first couple of mornings. And then they were like, oh, something else. So eggs over easy, and you know, but they don't eat toast. So eggs over easy, you either have to eat them with a spoon to get all the good yolk out or you need toast. So. A lot of good yolk went to waste yesterday. Anyway, so today we were trying to think of what to do, and Isabel came, came. well, we decided we were going to make French toast. And then Isabel said, oh, can you microwave some peanut butter and make, like, and drizzle it on the French toast? I said, sure, because I don't have syrup. So, anyway, then it evolved to French toast sticks with dipping. And it's a big hit, so that's good. <laughs> so, a nutritious breakfast. <laughs> Finally. Oh, excuse me, Molly. I have to wipe my eyes. Oh. oh, it is beautiful out here today. 
So while we were gone, Dennis mowed both the front and the back with the riding mower. He is not still not feeling very perky. He feels like he's on the mend, but he has not been feeling great. So, But he mowed yesterday, so this is all freshly mowed. And it is really nice out here today. I did not look at the gizmo while I was talking, so I don't know what the temperature actually is, but it's low, lowish 70s, I would say, and low humidity, so we might have to spend some time out on the deck today. Although, um, you know, the girls and I have spent a lot of time outside. We did the zoo, we did our horseback ride, we uh, were out and about shopping, and uh, swinging at the playground, and doing things like that, so it's not like they've been stuck in the house. I do need to get on the ball and clear up a little of that table once they're done with breakfast because we did want to try paper making. So, paper making, um, we want to do it today so that we can have our paper tomorrow morning when they, because Jason is coming tonight and he's going to stay overnight. So, we'll give it time for the paper to dry. So, that would be cool. Meanwhile, I double checked. And Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2 is scheduled to, to record tonight at 7. So we are having Movie Night Part 2. I will send the DVD of Gal Guardians of the Galaxy home with Jason so he can see how they all met up. Because he hasn't seen it apparently. So, um, yeah. He's bringing snacks. So there you go. We'll all be set tonight then. So today's the last day with the girls. We do not have anything formal planned. We will take them for, you know, a dog walk. And and Jason will be home. I don't know what time he gets off. I used to have this great job where he... He apparently doesn't mind getting up early. Where he worked from like 6 to 2. So he was like off work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But that was in Florida. So anyway, that's today. Yesterday really was a big success. The girls had a wonderful time. We had a lovely young woman who, each of the girls had their horse being led. Um, I think the woman who is like the owner of the ranch led the, all of us and had the rope on Samantha's horse. Very large pony or a very short short horse, but it was really pretty, and it was not spots. It was like speckles. It looked like if you took a paint paintbrush and went Prrr. Anyway, very cool, and Isabel's was a gorgeous mauve color. I've never seen such a color. Anyway, but there was a young girl who was leading Isabel's horse, so it was the main leader, Samantha on a rope, me next, the young woman who's going into seventh grade leading Isabel's horse and Kim brought up the rear and they were both lovely and that little girl was so charming and I thought what a wonderful summer job she has you know but because she was the one who came up with the board and explained what was going to happen and we had a sign and all that she did a great job there and then she was a lovely um leader companion to Isabel as they were, you know, they talked about school and, you know, it was nice. We had a good time and my butt hurts. My legs are a little sore. So I know I did something yesterday. The girls claim that they, they're perfectly fine. So, well, and I'm glad I didn't want them to be sore, but <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. So today's our last full day with the girls. Poor Dennis. He has not gotten the full enjoyment out of having them visit because he has been very low energy Can, fighting off this whatever it is I hope it wasn't COVID but it's not coming up on our home tests so I don't know what else to do I guess I could he could go get a PCR test at the soup at the drugstore but I feel like COVID ha is mutating so quickly and so many different ways that I find it hard to believe that um, these tests have kept up with being able to tell what you have anymore. I don't even know.
So he's feeling better and but still low energy. So it's been a shame that, you know, but it's interesting how much easier it is when the girl, as the girls get older. I mean, when I had Isabel, when she was very small, I mean, I was exhausted when I was done. Now they're very self-sufficient and, um, yeah. So I have been going to bed earlier than them, but they want to stay up really late. And I'm like, I'm not staying up that late. You've got to promise me you're going to go to bed at midnight. And they have been. So that's good. And, uh, yeah, they, they didn't get up until after 9 o'clock today. That's not typical for them. They have a couple weeks to get back into the swing of things. The last week before school starts, they're going to be home with their dad. So he can get them back into a good rhythm for um, school wake-ups and things like that. So I'm not feeling too guilty about it. They like to stay up late with that Nana and Dappy. So they get to. Doesn't mean I have to stay up late. So I've been going to bed early -ish. In fact, I was up an hour before they were today. So that's not typical. But it makes for a nice quiet start of the day. Anyway, so... Um, uh, tomorrow's iffy for the vlog because Jason will be here in the morning. We're going to be doing morning stuff. I don't expect them to stay all day. I think they're going to be ready to be home. Oh, I got to do laundry today. Got to do laundry today. And, um, you know, to get things sorted back in the house. Next week, they are spending a couple days down the shore with Aunt Diana and their other grandparents and then back home. Um, with Allison's parents who live close enough that they just come and hang out at the house. So, and then the week after that, Jason's on duty. So, yeah. That's their plans. My plan is to take Sunday off. I gotta call my dad tonight and see how things are going with him. He's had, today is Friday, so he's had a week should have had a week of someone coming in Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and uh, see what he thinks of that and if he feels like it's helpful. Because um, he's, I'm pretty sure he's paying out of pocket for that. So we want to make sure it's helping him and getting him what he needs. So I'll talk to him tonight and see how it's going. And we have movie night tonight. So TBS, if you get it. Guardian of the Galaxies Part 2, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, and we can all watch it together. Of course, we're recording it, so we might not start till 7.30 or quarter to 8, so we can fast forward through the commercials. <laughs> Meanwhile, please take good care of yourselves. Please, 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 please stay safe and stay sane.